hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this angular video tutorial we will see that how we can call or fetch api in the angular all right so there is a lots of way to call the apis like you can just make the services and many things but first of all we must have to know that what is the simplest way to call a api and in the same in this video we will going to learn simplest and easiest way to fetch an api all right so first thing is that what is the api so api is basically a data which is sending from the server to the client side framework or library like angular cannot directly interact with the database so we need java or node or php and these languages or server side language will make api and in the angular we will just fetch this api and this api just produce the result in the json format all right and we will just fetch them now let's see then how we, how we can fetch this is the simplest example of the api there is some uh, data you can see that there is a json format data and this is a public url uh, you can just find this url inside the description box also now let's start with the code so first of all let's go inside the app.model.ts file and just import the http client module this right here import something from angular common and http all right and after that just simply write here http client model and register this model inside the imports array like this now you can close this file we don't need to make any more changes here so let's close it now let's come inside the app.component.ts file here first of all we have to import the http client from the angular uh, let me check angular then just use here common actually i just have to put it at the rate that's why it's not picking actually my intelligence and just we can make here http all right and now just find here http client from here now like a, uh, now let's make instance of this http right inside the constructor so just define the constructor and just use here http oh, that's my bad http from the http client and we can just define this variable privately we don't need to make it public all right and after that let's just call an api with uh, this inside the ng on it this dot uh, http dot get and in the get we will provide the api like api url basically all right just provide it like this and now we can just make it dot uh, subscribe and even you can just write the same thing in the next line also like this so that it will be visible better way and let's call here a fat arrow function and just put here data okay data variable and let's get the data inside the console dot warm or console dot log now let's see are we able to fetch the data or not let's make, refresh it now you can see that we got the 100 data here all right and this is the same data which is coming from the this api you can even match it if you just want all right you can see that user id is 10 and id is 100 at the last and the same thing is here all right so now let's take uh, how we can just take this data to the HTML template so for that let's take some variable or something like that so let's take uh, you can say that uh, post data all right and you can just make it variable simply like this and now let's define it assign the data with, uh, to the post data post data is data all right now let's get back to the 
HTML page and here we can just write here uh, ul li and just use here star ng4 and just use let uh, let item of post data all right and inside the list we can just simply write it item dot uh, any key name like title all right so we can put here item dot title now let's see what we are getting here all right now you can see that we got the whole data over here if you just want then you can also put here then i uh, user id and id with this also so let's see if you just want to put the id and then you just want to use the title then you can do something like this also like this all right so thanks for watching this video i hope you got that this is the simplest way to call the api in the upcoming uh, videos we will see that how we can make the services and call the data call the apis with the services also so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care